Good afternoon, my name is Raylan C. Kimbrough of The Parlay. Today's topic is the Alton Sterling and Philando Castillo shootings. The recent police-involved deaths of Alton Sterling and Philando Castillo have reached national headlines like many others before. Some ask if it's news and newsworthy, while others ask why it's so common. The Parlay has another consideration. How do we get laymen? common citizens to be more objective and educated in the law? And how do we get the police to be more objective and educated about recent and modern history? Communities are often told to get over the past, to get over American history, to get over police-involved lynchings, to get over the Rodney King incident, to get over the Walter Scott shooting, to get over the Laquan McDonald shooting. Yet these incidents are still part of modern history. History affects how people think and react. These are incidents which affected an entire national community. Is it reasonable for society to ask specific communities to get over history when history is taught and reflected on a daily basis? We reflect on Columbus Day, it's a holiday. We reflect on the 4th of July. We reflect on President's Day, the Civil War, Vietnam. We won't forget 9-11. Nobody is told to get over the frequent killings of police officers. Nobody is asked to get over the Holocaust. Conversely, many communities don't know and don't want to know what it's like to respond to a large, hostile individual when an officer is called upon to address a weapons or violence situation, dealing with people who will not comply, who will not stop moving, who will not stop fighting, who will not show you their hands. How do you tell an officer, just believe he doesn't have a gun, and if he does have a gun, the bullet may not kill you, so don't use yours. Or don't worry, he won't try and take your gun. How do you tell an officer, take the chance that you will not go home to your family at the end of the night? That you will not end up like so many officers before you, gunned down with little care for the community you work for. So tell us here at the Parlay, your solution to how we get common citizens to be more objective and educated in the law, and how do we get the police to be more objective and educated about recent and modern history. Let's part that.